Hey, my name is Brian. I took Accutane every single day for over 70 weeks. And this is exactly what I thought about it. So the average Accutane treatment is usually somewhere around 30 to 50 weeks at the longest. This was definitely longer than the usual treatment would go. Also, I had extremely severe acne, just for reference. I had very large nodular cysts. That was my biggest problem. But I would also have tons of blackheads covering my entire face and then tons of whiteheads as well. But the cysts and the blackheads were the very, very biggest problem. So they started me pretty low, actually. It started me at 40 milligrams uh, a day and we worked up as we went, but by about week six was when my initial breakout started. And if you've never heard of an initial breakout before, it's basically uh, whatever acne you have before you start Accutane, it's gonna get twice or three times worse because basically as the drug kicks in, it, it sort of ignites your acne. And, and so it got way, 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 way worse. And then by about week 30 to 40 is when that initial breakout was gone and then my face was finally starting to actually clear up. And now a public service announcement from the Not Giving a F*** About Acne Association. Don't you dare let others put you down. What's on your face, dude? What is that? That's the biggest zit I've ever seen. How do you even go in public, dude? What are you taking? Steroids? Taking fucking protein and stuff? Man, you... Oh, you're gonna put your headphones on? You're gonna put your headphones on? That's cool. Real cool. You're ugly, though. I don't like your zit, bro. Now around the same time, week 30 through 40 is when I took dairy and whey out of my diet because doing my own research online in between my doctor's sessions, I was trying to figure out what was going on, why my, why my face wasn't clearing up quite yet when other people had already seen success by week 30. And I found that my whey intake, my, my protein intake, which is made of whey, and whey is made up of dairy or milk, all of that is known to trigger acne. So when I took that out, I started seeing my acne clear very quickly, and then it worked in conjunction with Accutane and actually cleared up fully. Now the way that it worked is it took care of my white heads first and then it went to the cysts and the cysts again were the very biggest problem and it took care of the cysts and it would make them go away but I would still get one every about a week or two and they'd stick around for about a month so instead of having four or five or six cysts on my face at all times I would have one at a time but it would last for about a month then the blackheads went then the colors and then finally after 70 weeks of Accutane Finally, everything had fully cleared up, including the cysts that were coming up kind of randomly. Everything was cleared. So by this point, I had ramped up from, like I said, 40 milligrams all the way up to 200 milligrams a day for a certain amount of time. I think it was about 15 weeks at the highest. And then we started coming down towards the end of my treatment and I ended somewhere around 60 milligrams a day. So my cumulative dose, I have no idea what it was, but it was massive, especially compared to the regular person's uh, treatment. I was basically taking two treatments all at once. So there's my story with Accutane. Now, the thing that I want to talk about are, are small details, pros and cons, things like that. Things that I can give real insight from actually going through Accutane uh, that I think is very important that a lot of people don't really touch up on. You know, a lot of people talk about the same thing over and over, but when it comes to what you've actually been through, I think that's very important. And for me, there was quite a few cons. So these are things that you should really weigh and, and make sure that you're aware of before you even consider going on Accutane because it really should be thought of as a last resort. So first off, you're going to run into this in the first couple of weeks, dry as hell skin. So I would have dry, dry, dry skin around my cheeks and my mouth. All around this area was my biggest dry spot. And then I'd also have extremely dry lips. Now what would happen is whenever I would yawn, like yawn, open my mouth, or if I would smile big, all of a sudden, something would, would tear or crack or whatever because this skin was so dry. Even when I used moisturizer, 20 minutes later, the moisturizer had been used up and it was dry again. And I would have these lines right here would crack and they would be, you know when you can feel that there's there's like a rash on your face or something, you can feel that it's exposed but you can't quite see it. it they would get red over time and then my lips would bleed. They would literally bleed so I'd have to have chapstick on me at all times. Because if I would go, for example, to college and I forgot my chapstick in the car, by the end of one class, my lips would literally be bleeding down my face. So obviously dryness is a huge, huge factor. So make sure you have moisturizer and chapstick and be aware of this if you're already a dry person or if you live in a dry climate, it's gonna be a lot tougher for you. I experienced quite a bit of sensitivity to the sun when it came to my skin. I'd go out into the sun and I'd feel like I was burning within 10 seconds. Also, my eyes were very, very sensitive to light. So I would have to either wear glasses or stay inside for most of the time because uh, it would feel like they were 
being blinded, literally. As far as working out goes, I was starting to get back pain, especially with my scoliosis. It was actually starting to hurt for the first time in my life. Uh, a lot of my joints were getting a lot more painful, so my elbows would be creaky, my knees would be creaky, my shoulders started to actually get really painful, which they had never done before. I was experiencing a bit of strength loss in the gym, and I wasn't cutting, I wasn't dieting or anything. I was actually eating more calories than usual, and I was still uh, experiencing quite a bit of strength loss at the gym, so that's another con. And then beyond all the physical side effects, I had to go to the hospital every single month to, to do a blood test, and then also the cost was quite expensive, except for the fact that I had insurance during this, so it helped a lot, but I was hearing people saying that they'd pay three, $400 each month for their treatment, and remember, I did this for so many more months than the regular person would do this. So there's my list of cons. Now keep in mind that the cons that are actually out there, there are so many of them. These are just the ones that I experienced. There's quite a few that you could run into. In terms of long-lasting cons, the ones that have actually stuck with me is I still have back pain, I still have quite a bit of joint pain. I am way more dry than I ever have been in my whole life. My hands get much more dry. My face actually dries out, which I never had an issue with before because my face was so oily. And finally, the other con that came with this is that my acne started to come back after my treatment. And this is something that you can actually expect with Accutane is almost half of the people who take Accutane actually experience a relapse of their acne coming back after they finish their treatment. And a lot of people think that it's 100% success rate and that you're clear forever. It's not the case at all. So a little bit more insight into the actual journey while I was on Accutane. When I was around that week 30 to 40 area, when my face first started to clear up, I was noticing that the things that would usually make me break out pretty definitely, right? Like artificial sweeteners or or like kind of chocolate or creatine, things, things that were kind of on the lighter end, but they would make me break out every single time when my acne was at its most severe, they were now, they weren't making me break out as easily, right? My face had started to get clear. So I feel like, you know, my, 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 my skin was ready for ready to break out at any moment before Accutane, right? And if I did even just the slightest violation, boom, I would see the, the effects of it and I would break out. But I feel like at this point, at this 30 to 40 week moment, uh, my Accutane had, had kind of taken my acne and made it not extremely severe, it made it just maybe like heavy, you know what I mean? It took it down a couple notches so that when I was doing things like the same things that would make me break out before, artificial sweeteners or creatine or coffee or whatever it was, I wasn't breaking out. Now the big triggers were still making me break out. So for example, any time that I would try whey or dairy of any type, even one small serving, I would I would see it break out. And I tested this so many times because I thought this was interesting to kind of test around and see what was breaking out or what wasn't. And every single time I would try out one serving of dairy, period, whether it was frozen yogurt or a protein bar or anything like that, the next day I would have a cyst develop. And that, that cyst would stay around for at least two weeks, but up to two months. A lot of people take three, four months before they start seeing results. And why not keep showing off my imperfections? Remember, I've said this before, but now it's even even more effective. If you feel bad about that little zit right here on your chin, oh my gosh, it's so big. Think about me. Think about my face. Think about this, that, these, those. And then you'll feel better and you'll go out and you'll kill it. So all these different things and all these different experiments that I was testing out on myself ultimately led me to the decision to go plant-based or vegan uh, because I just noticed that the things I was eating, you know, the meats and things like that, I felt like were making me break out. When I took all those things out, when I took all the dairy out and stuff, I started to see my, my skin actually clear up again to what it looked like when I first came off Accutane. So I was excited that I was able to kind of curb my relapse. Now it's been a pretty long time since Accutane. I actually can't really recall exactly how long. I think it's been about a year and a half, but could be up to two and a half years later after Accutane. And my face is pretty damn clear. You can look at it on screen right now, but you can also go in any of the videos in the last couple of weeks or whatever. And my skin has been more clear than it has ever been, ever. People always compliment me on how clear my skin is. They ask me what I'm doing. They ask me what's changed. They say like, I remember how you looked before and it's just, it's just nuts. And I always give them the same answer. It's nuts to me too. I, I, I am still not there where I'm just expecting to be clear. I wake up and I still go to the mirror and I, just because I remember it, I remember doing it every single day. I go and I look in the mirror and I check for the new cyst or the new zit. And now is the first time in my life that I've ever been able to do that and there's not a new cyst. And it's nuts. It's I, I still don't process it. And I think it's it's heavily to do with the Accutane for sure. I absolutely believe that I would still have much worse acne than than ever. But I think it also for me, for me, it's a very synergistic thing with going plant based because obviously dairy was one of the biggest triggers and one of the biggest reasons that I got the acne that I did have. Uh, so combining the both really worked out for me, but that is just a personal choice. So my final thoughts on Accutane is that you should use it as an absolute last 
last resort. And I think that I did use it as a last resort because I feel like if you just jump right into it, everybody wants to get a clear face, right? So Accutane will make you clear, right? Accutane has so many side effects that people don't usually harp on. They don't talk about a lot, but there are there's things from depression to suicide to uh, erectile dysfunction. I've heard stories where people 10 years after, so this could be me, people 10 years later will have the, the end of their intestine get cancer, they'll get colon cancer, and they'll have to actually remove that portion of their, their, their colon. They'll have a shorter colon than, than they used to have just because they took Accutane. So it's not that there's not a lot of side effects, it's that people sometimes don't emphasize them, and I think that you should really, really read into it and, and try every single thing else, if vet every single option before you even think about Accutane. Do the antibiotics, do the topical creams, do anything your dermatologist wants you to do, play with your diet, test out all sorts of different stuff, try all sorts of remedies, and then if everything doesn't work out and you feel that the, the pros outweigh the cons for you, getting a clear face outweighs these potential side effects, then at that point, I think you should go and you should talk to your dermatologist about Accutane, but please keep it as a last resort. If you do decide to do Accutane, make sure you buy a 20 pack at least of chapstick and have it in every sector of your life because you're gonna forget it one time and you're gonna hate your life. Make sure you drink tons and tons of water because if you don't, you're gonna be dehydrated more than you ever could imagine. And just keep in mind that your whole entire life is completely different when you're on Accutane. From the moment you wake up to the moment you sleep, you're gonna be aware of the fact that you have acne and the fact that you're on Accutane because you're gonna wake up with an extremely dry face and immediately you're gonna have to moisturize, you're gonna have to put chapstick on, you're gonna have to think about the foods that you're eating because you don't wanna continue breaking out and causing you to take more of this treatment. You're gonna have to worry about where you are and when you are because if you don't get home at a certain amount of time after you've you know put moisturizer on, then you're gonna start bleeding. You know, If you're out somewhere where it's really dry and cold and you're gonna be out at a concert for a really long time, you're gonna to have to you know bring sunblock and stuff like that. You're gonna to have to bring a hat so that you don't get sunburned because you're very, very, very apt to sunburn or whatever it is. And so keep in mind that Accutane is not a, it's not a nonsensical choice where you just do it and don't really think about it. You take some pills in the morning. It is something that you're gonna have to be dedicated to and disciplined with. You're not gonna be able to drink. You're not gonna be able to take ibuprofen, all sorts of stuff. So be very, 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 very well researched and well thought out and really make sure that this is the decision that you ultimately really, really want to because once you start, you have to complete it or it won't work. For me, the pros of Accutane outweighed the cons of Accutane because I wanted to do this, what you're watching right now. I wanted to be a YouTuber and I wanted to do all sorts of things that come from YouTube, but people were not able to watch my channel and get the actual content of the channel. Instead, they were being distracted by my acne. So for me to advance in my career, I had to clear it up in any way possible, so I took Accutane. But if there was any way that I could go and not take Accutane and still have advanced my career, I would have done that. So Keep this warning at your head. I personally would not have done Accutane if there was any way around it, and I would have tried. And I just want you personally to really put your, your time into it about thinking about whether or not you wanna do it. But that is it, guys. This video is already getting way too long. I just wanted to give you guys my, my thoughts post Accutane, especially such a long treatment, give you guys insight onto what I think about Accutane, and hopefully this kind of helps you decide you know, some things about Accutane, whether you're gonna take it or not, or if you just wanted to be informed, if somebody that you know is taking it so you kinda understand a little bit more. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate you guys giving it a thumbs up, helps it get out to other people. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys thought, or if you have questions about Accutane, I'm the guy to answer those, but also there are tons of people who have taken it before, and they will answer you as well. So make sure you leave a comment in the comments below, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Team! Beyond the week, CT. Lift heavy or die, Myron, motherfucker.